Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this adorable cactus themed tear tray using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So I like to start out with my tear tray by finding a ribbon and I found this adorable ribbon at Dollar Tree with little cactuses all over it. I thought this would be perfect to line the tears. I'm going to do my three tear tray today and I'm doing this tear tray for my kitchen table. So all I did was put a dot of hot glue on all three tiers and cut and attached the ribbon. And I think that's a great start to our little cactus tear tray. So this is gonna be our first DIY. I picked up this wood cactus from Dollar Tree just in the crafter square section. And I thought we could paint this and kind of make this look like a cactus. So I don't want the base to be um, painted green and so I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that off with a little bit of painter's tape. Now, there's no spikes or anything on here but I thought I would use these stickers also from the Dollar Tree to try to do like the lines that are on these type of, types of cactuses and also to kind of represent maybe the spikes on them as well without being super pointy. But this is gonna work really well because they're all attached like in a string of glue. So you can just pull them off and put them down in a row. And then I'm just gonna continue those three lines in the middle all the way to the bottom. Just kind of trimming um, the extras off and reusing those as well. And I'm also going to want it to go up the sides of the, like the little arms of the cactus as well. And the great thing about these stickers is that they bend really easily too. So just stick them down, bend them, put them exactly where you need. And this is going to give me a great pattern before I paint this little cactus. And it really just turns out so cute. I thought a cactus theme would be perfect for a tear tray. Um, it's good for summer. I think it's good for fall. I think it's a really good transitioning piece for my tear tray. And so let's go ahead and paint it. I'm gonna use this color of acrylic. I believe it was called leafy green. And I am just gonna go in with a brush so I can get in all the little you know, cactus spikes that we've added to it and get a good coat on this raw wood. Now it is gonna be on my tear tray, it's gonna be visible from all directions, so I'm also going to have to do a coat of the green on the back. I thought about doing the little stickers on the back as well, but I figured it probably wasn't that necessary. So just one coat of green and we have a cute little cactus going here. I found such great items at the Dollar Tree for this tear tray, it almost made itself. <laughs> so just gonna go ahead and remove the painter's tape there from the base. And I really want a theme today of like green cactuses with lots of wood. So I'm just gonna stain the wood on the bottom with some Antique Wax by Waverly and wipe off any of the excess. So quick and easy, um, such a quick and easy way to stain wood. And I wanna do um, a lot of my cactuses with cactus flowers as well. Now I couldn't really find any small little flowers that would be like cactus-like from the Dollar Tree, but I do have these and I thought that if I took the flower apart and just used the small section in the center, um, that would look more like a cactus flower. And so that's exactly what I do. I just pull that off and I'm just gonna glue that to the top of our little cactus. And it is the perfect final touch to this little cactus DIY. Didn't this turn out cute? I think it's adorable, I really love it. And it's nice and tall, so we're gonna put that um, on the top shelf of my tear tray. We're doing the three tier tray. And it is a perfect start to this cactus tear tray DIY. 
Okay, check these out. I found the most adorable cactuses at the Dollar Tree, and this is one of them. It's kind of a smaller one, and it kind of has a hole in the top, like it's a vase, but it's kind of too small to be a vase. But I thought I would just add a flower, and just to be different, I thought I would do a wood flower on this one. And so this is one of those wood sola flowers, I guess they're called, um, from Dollar Tree. I love these. You guys know I made like a pineapple out of these. It turned out so cool. And I'm just going to attach that to the hole on the top with some hot glue. And otherwise, this little cactus is perfect. I'm also going to use this on the top tier of my tear tray. So let's go ahead and start putting this thing together. It's so cute. I love the little wood flower on there too. Gives a fun touch. Now this is from Dollar Tree. It's perfect. Little house with a cactus background. It's got the wood. It's the right colors. I don't have to do anything to it except for remove the tag on the back because again you're going to be able to see this tear tray from all four directions and I don't want an ugly tag on the back of it but check it out isn't it cute I absolutely love it it's kind of tall too so we're going to put this on the top as well kind of a taller piece on this side of the tray and then I also found this cactus at the Dollar Tree. It's really cute. It is chipped just slightly in a few places. So to fix that, I thought I would just touch it up with a little acrylic paint. The color of green I have is a little um, different than the green that is on there, a little lighter. So to make it not so obvious, I just went ahead and did like a lot of random spikes on there in that color to kind of blend it together. And then there's also a flower on there, but you couldn't really tell because it was all green. So I thought I would use some yellow. I think this is corn flower, maybe. I'm um, acrylic paint. And I'm just going to use a tiny brush just to carefully paint that with a couple coats of yellow. And that's going to brighten that piece up a little bit and really make that flower part stand up on out on there. Um, I found so many cute cactus items at the Dollar Tree. Now, the little pot for that is a little plain, so I thought I would add a little bit of texture to it with some of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna cut off a piece just to kind of wrap it around it. It's gonna kind of match a lot of the wood that we have going on today, um, and just kind of make the pot for the little cactus a little bit more interesting. This guy didn't need much though, because he was super cute to begin with. So I just glued it on one end and gluing it on another and trying to get it on there as tight as I can so it'll stay in place. And there's that little cactus. So quick and easy. And that I think is going to be the final piece here for the top of our tear tray. It is pretty full. And this tear tray, it turns out just so cute. I'm really loving it. Okay, first I want to take a moment to tell you about our Facebook group. I'll post a link in the description below. We have the most creative people ever on. You guys are going to be blown away. And then also follow me on other socials, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. I am Crafty Beach on YouTube. Okay, I also found this cactus, very similar to the other one. It's just a different shape of cactus from the Dollar Tree, and it had a few chips on it too, just tiny chips. And so I'm just gonna do the same thing I did the first time using that different shade of green just to make the little green uh, dots and sp um, spots on there. It just adds a little bit more dimension to the piece as well. But if yours is not chipped, you really don't have to do anything to it. Then I'm gonna use the rest of that burlap ribbon and kind of do the same exact thing we did on the first one and just glue that to the base. Now this one must be a little bit bigger because I cut the other half of that rib ribbon from before and it's not quite long enough, but that's okay. With burlap, it's pretty forgiving. And this is gonna be the first cactus for our second tier. So let's go ahead and start putting that together. I really like to go by, you know, sizes of items, what's gonna fit where, kind of take it one tier at a time. 
I also found this cactus at Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be a candle holder, but I thought maybe I would use it as a, like a little planter. I also found this little pink succulent magnet at Dollar Tree, and I thought that pink succulent would look like a really cute like cactus flower that could be coming out of this. Now, since it's not really a vase, it's just kind of got the little candle opening, I'm just gonna cut the stem off and I just need to find a way to attach that to the top of our cactus. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue in there just to secure the flower down in there. And we have a cute little cactus planter for our tear tray. I told you I found so many great cactus items from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on the tear tray too here on the second tier. Maybe over on this side. I like to break up. I got lots of different greens going on today, so I'm kind of like trying to do um, different shades in different areas of the tear tray. I also found this. It's a little um, creamer pitcher from the Dollar Tree, and it looks like a cactus. It's absolutely perfect, and I do not need to do anything for it. And it's perfect because it's going to go in my kitchen on my table. And so a little creamer is perfect, and it looks just like a little cactus. I thought about putting some flowers in there, but I kind of like it just like that. Just a little creamer. And kind of pushing that away from the other one that's kind of the same color. Now, these actually aren't from Dollar Tree. I got these at Target Dollar Spot for $3. And they're little cactus salt and pepper shakers. They are so cute. And I thought this was going to be perfect, especially since it's going on my kitchen table. Um, I absolutely love them. They are a little small, but I think we're going to be able to make it work. It's two different cactuses. One has a little flower on it. They're so cute. I really love these guys. Now, I did want to put them in my tear tray because I didn't think you were going to be able to see them. Um, I don't think they are quite tall enough. So I'm just going to take a wood block. This is a giant Jenga block. I get these at five below. And I'm just going to do a real quick stain with some antique wax by Waverly. And this is going to make the perfect little base for my salt and pepper shakers. So they can kind of sit up over my tear because um, it has sides so you can see them. And also so people can actually find the salt and pepper shaker on the table. And they can just sit on there kind of like that. And I'm definitely glad that I made that because otherwise I think they were going to kind of get swallowed up here on the second tier. So let's put these over here on this side. I really love how this is coming together. I thought about doing Dollar Tree, no, Dollar Spot at Target. Had a lot of cactus things in alternative colors, like blues and yellows and stuff like that. And I thought about doing that, but I'm kind of glad I went with the traditional green cactuses. Now here's another Dollar Tree find. Look at this, I found this cute little candle that says this is my happy place on it. The whole thing's a candle, including the pot, and it's so cute. And this just came from Dollar Tree from their candle aisle. So I don't think I need to do anything to it. I think it's perfect for our tear tray. Um, I'm not gonna put it on a candle holder or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of put it in there as is. It looks like a little cactus sitting in a pot. So cute. I'm telling you, the Dollar Tree provided for me today. Okay, so I wanted to make a little sign for the second tier, and I thought I would use some of these mirrored stickers from the Dollar Tree, and they have cactuses and succulents on here. And I thought this one would be perfect on one of these little wood signs from the Dollar Tree. I love these little wood signs. They're the perfect size for a tear tray. It's got a little clip on there for a picture. So I'm just gonna unscrew that. The little bow above just literally just fell off. And so it gives me a great little sign. It's made out of wood, so that's perfect for my cactus. Now I wanna paint this. I'm not a big fan of the mirror look. Now it does take a couple coats though of paint to cover that up. And I'm just using acrylic. I'm using that same leafy green color and just doing the whole thing in that color, kind of drying in between. 
Now, I left the original paper on the back there thinking that, you know, that's going to take all my overflow paint, but you probably should be more careful than I was being here because I did have to clean it up here in a minute. You'll see. And so I thought I'd stay with the green color scheme. I'll use that darker color of green acrylic for the pot and then maybe a little of that cornflower yellow for the little flowers that are on that cactus. Now this is where I kind of like realized I should have been a little bit more careful with painting it because when I pulled it off like the acrylic kind of stuck um, to all the edges of the little sticker. As you can see, it's looking a little rough. But I just clean it up. Around the edges you can kind of just peel it off and then I just kind of had to poke out some of the paint that was kind of stuck in the areas that should be cut out of the little sticker. Now, I know that it is a sticker and it should be super sticky. Um, I found it wasn't real sticky though, so I am going to have to hot glue that onto um, our little sign here. I kind of wanted to do a word on here, but I didn't have any room and I want to cover up that little hole in there. I think this is going to work out perfectly. So I'm just going to attach hot glue and any of the areas I can here on the back to make sure all of it's stuck down. And we have a very simple little cactus sign for our tear tray. So cute and so inexpensive. So I think we're gonna put this here on the second tier as well. It's gonna provide a little bit of fun to the shelf kind of behind some of the shorter items. I thought we could put it right here and so even when my salt and pepper shakers disappear, which they probably will, um, you'll still have some cactuses there too. Okay, check out this adorable painting I found at Dollar Tree. It says, Love Grows Here. It is the perfect size for my bottom tier, which is pretty tall. Um, but I wanted to frame it out just to make it a little bit more special because it's just a canvas, as you can see. The colors on it are perfect and it's so pretty though. So I just popped the hanger off the back and I thought I'd make a frame using these jumbo popsicle sticks from Walmart. I did not have enough room to do like a real wood frame because that canvas barely fits on my bottom tier. So I thought these would be perfect because it's gonna be very thin and it's gonna give me a frame look. So I'm just staining the popsicle sticks with Antique Wax by Waverly and then I can cut them down to size. I'm so glad that I decided to frame this. I think it turned out so cute. So once I get all the Antique Wax by Waverly, I'm just using a paper towel to wipe off the excess. And I'm just gonna kinda sit them on there like that, but I just need to kinda measure. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down um, the size of the bottom of the canvas, just cutting with scissors. You kinda have to be careful because it they like to split a little bit if you're not careful. And I'm just gonna use that one as reference to go ahead and cut the top piece of the frame as well. And again, this is gonna be a very lightweight frame. And, and now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna measure the side and cut the sides down to size. And it should be square, so we can cut those the same size. And if you don't have a saw, popsicle sticks are definitely the way to go. They're so easy to cut. Okay, it's time to try to put this together. I'm just gonna attach them with hot glue on the edges of the canvas, making it kind of flush with the back of the canvas. So it'll kind of stick out in the front like a, a boxed sign. Um, and the edges are also gonna allow it to stand up on its own on our tear tray. And so I'm gonna do the same thing here on the other side. And basically I'm just gonna go in and glue all four sides on. And then try to fill in the corners with some hot glue to kind of make it look a little bit more flush. I would like to take this moment to thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate you all so much. And if you like this content, don't forget to hit the like button on YouTube. Everything helps the algorithm. A comment would be so much appreciated. Your favorite DIY today, whether you would like to have a cactus tear tray and
If you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you here on Crafty Beach. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. So super exciting. I love how this turned out. And as you can see, it barely fits here on the bottom tier, but it's definitely gonna work. And it turned the little canvas into a little sign. Okay, I found this at the Dollar Tree as well. It's another vase. This one's a little bit larger and it has a hole in the top too. Um, I'm not really gonna use it as a vase to stick something in it, but I did wanna cover that up and kind of make it look like it had a flower as well. Now on the shorter one like this, I used the uh, wood flower. On this one, I'm gonna use the middle of one of these flowers like I used on that first DIY, the wooden cactus, and just hot glue that to the top of this little cactus. And I think this one's gonna be perfect for the bottom tier. It's nice and tall. I love that all these cactuses from the Dollar Tree and I love all the different shades of green. I think they all look so great together. So we're just gonna put this one over here and we're getting a good start. Now I thought I can't have a cactus tear tray without a real cactus, right? So I found this great pot at Goodwill for half off and I thought it would be perfect. Has a little cactus on there and it says looking sharp. <laughs> so I got that and a cactus. Um, from Walmart and I thought we would just put together a little cactus and hopefully I won't kill it. <laughs> it's really cute. I picked this up at Walmart. It was like three dollars and something and it's got a nice yellow top on there. Um, I really like the pink flowers and the yellow flowers on the cactuses. I think they're so pretty. So I just filled this up with some potting soil and we can go ahead and plant this little cactus for a tear tray. And I'm so glad that we're going to have a real cactus on here as well. Now I went ahead and filled my whole pot <laughs> with potting soil. So I kind of put too much in there. So let's go ahead and pot this. I love to kill at cactuses. I think I water them too much, so I'm gonna try to be really careful not to kill this cactus because I think it's really cute. And we're just gonna put this cactus right over here. And it's the perfect addition for a cactus tear tray. Now, I hit up the toy department at Dollar Tree as well and found this great squishy little cactus. Now, it's got a cute little adorable face on there, a pink flower in a pink pot. So part of it's good, part of it looks like a toy, right? Now I've never tried painting one of these a soft squishy toys, I don't think, but it actually painted really well. I'm just gonna use acrylic paint and that leafy green color and paint all over the green parts of our cactus to try to cover up the face. I tried to leave the pink flower intact, but I wasn't real careful when I was painting around that, so I am gonna have to touch that up. And I thought this green was a perfect color for a little cactus, and it did a great job of covering up the little face that was on there. But if you like the face, you probably could even leave that on there. That might be cute as well. Now for the pot, instead of pink, I thought we would do white. I'm using a lot of white and wood. Um, tones on this tray along with all the greens and I thought white would be perfect. I'm using actually I guess it's ivory chalk paint. I thought that would do a good job covering that bright pink color and it does just require a couple coats though to get that covered. Now it wasn't quite tall enough and I couldn't find a pot that small to put it in and I want you to be able to see it on my bottom tier. And so what I'm gonna do is I have this little candle holder and I am just gonna go ahead and squish it in there and kind of pretend like the pot's a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna use that same ivory chalk paint to paint my little candle holder as well to try to make it look like one piece. It's gonna have this actually um, hard glass surface for the pot. Now that flower, I kind of messed it up with the green paint on there, so I need to brighten that up. I'm just using some pink parfait, I believe it is, acrylic paint, and a couple coats of that, and the little flower is back to its bright pink, vibrant self. 
And then I thought the pot was a little bit plain. And so I found these great little cactus stickers also from Dollar Tree. And I thought we could try to upgrade the pot a little bit by picking out a little cactus sticker. These are kind of like a really thick sticker that you can kind of see through, kind of like a stained glass look. And I thought I would pick out one that was the same exact shape as the cactus that is in the pot. I thought that was really cute. And then I did have to use a little bit of hot glue to get it to stick down on that curved surface. But I think this little toy DIY was so easy and so fun to put together. What do you think? I think it's a really cute decoration for our tear tray. And now it's tall enough, I think you're going to be able to see it a little bit better. And so let's go ahead and add this to the bottom tier here of our tear tray. It's kind of big down here on the bottom, so it takes a lot of items to kind of fill this in. And a lot of you guys ask where I get my tear tray. I got this one at the kitchen section at Target. I believe they are discontinued now, and I have two of them. I love them, the galvanized metal ones. Okay, I wanted to make a sign for the bottom tier, and I found both of these signs at the Dollar Tree. I like the cactus one. It's a little bigger than I wanted, and it says something weird on there. It's like, Happy new home sweet home, which this isn't a new home. So I thought we would just use the cute little cactus on there. So I'm going to take one of these smaller signs with the saying on the front and just cover that up with as many coats of ivory chalk paint as it's going to take to kind of give me a white background. And we can make another little cactus sign for our tear tray. And it has the wood background on there, so I think that's perfect. So let's just pop this cactus off the other side. It's got these little foam blocks on there, but I don't really want this to be 3D or stick out. I kind of want it just attached to my sign. And I really wanted to put a word above it, like free hugs or something funny, but there's just not enough room. So I thought I would just try to do like a simple border around the edges, just to add a little bit more color and interest. And I'm just doing that with a green permanent marker. And then I thought we could add the little cactus to the front. And I'm just gonna glue that on with hot glue. It's super cute. And it's the perfect size for this little sign. Now I was looking at it and I was thinking, it's a little bit plain and I couldn't add the word that I wanted to on there. And so I was trying to think how I could take it up a notch and I thought it needs a cactus flower like some of the other cactuses. So again, I'm using that same flower that I used before and just popping out the middle part of the flower. You can always cut these flowers too if you if you need a small flower in a size like color. So you have the right color but it's the wrong size. They're pretty forgiving. And I'm just going to kind of fold it and hot glue it there so it's kind of um, three-dimensional but sticking out kind of from the flat sign. And just trying to get it on there exactly how I like it. And I think it turned out so cute. I would have liked to have a little bit bigger sign though so I could put a word on there too. But there's the final product and it's ready to put there on our bottom tier of our cactus tear tray. We're going to put it right over here so we kind of have a sign on this side as well. Super cute. Okay, it's our last DIY. I found this little DIY 3D cactus um, with like the kids craft supplies at Dollar Tree. You know, I always shop the, the kids in the toys departments because you never know what you're gonna find. And I thought we could do something fun with this. It comes with all these little wood cactus pieces and they come with like some, you know, some cheap paint and a paintbrush, but I kind of want this to look cute, like a little, sculptural cactus piece for our tear tray. And so I thought it just needed a good painting. Now to make it a little easier, I'm using paint pens. I'm using a green paint pen to do all of the cactus parts. And there are little like spikes on there. I'm just kind of going over them. You'll be able to see them through a little bit. But basically just gonna color all these in and paint pens are so easy. It's just like using a marker. 
And so once I have all of the cactus parts green, I'm gonna switch colors up here and do the little flowers in pink. We've had a lot of pink flowers on our cactuses today, and I think that's really a fun contrast. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do those all as well. There are lines on there, so I'm kind of keeping inside the lines, and then I'll worry about the edges here in a little bit. So I just had to flip them over and paint the other sides of the cactus green as well, and also flipped all the pink flowers and painted them pink. Now for the pot, I thought it would be fun to stain it. And so I'm using Antique Wax by Waverly, and I'm also gonna use that to stain all of the edges around the pieces that are that raw wood color to kind of make it look more finished. And if a little bit of the antique wax gets on the pink or the green, that's fine. It's just gonna make it look a little bit distressed. So just wiping off the excess stain, and it's gonna give me this beautiful wood color. So just flipping them over, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Definitely make sure you do all of your painting. Um, if you can find one of these um, before you put it together, for sure. And again, just wiping off all the antique wax. And we are ready to assemble this thing. It's super simple. There's little slots and you kind of just match them up together and slide them in. And I'm just kind of using the picture on the front of the package as a guide to try to put this thing together properly. It's for a child. It should be easy, right? <laughs> and it's got like lots of little different offsets of the cactus. And then it's got little slots for where all the flowers should go. And this is the great final addition to our tear tray. It's the perfect size. And I think it turned out really cute. So just attaching all the little pink flowers and we've done our Crayola DIY. <laughs> now it was a little wobbly. I didn't think it was gonna stand up on its own too well if I put it on there and um, the kitchen table gets a lot of use. So I thought I would make just a little base for it. This is just some craft wood from the Dollar Tree that I had left over from a previous cut. And I'm just gonna stain it with that antique wax by Waverly to kind of blend it in with the wood on our little cactus sculpture. And then I'm just gonna attach that to the base with some hot glue and it won't be quite so tippy as it was before. So cute. And I have the perfect spot right over here. And this is gonna be the final project for our cactus tear tray. I love all the cactuses on here, all the different colors. I think it came together great. And we're ready for the final reveal. But first, I wanna thank the following Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks underneath my videos. I appreciate your financial support so much. And also, to these guys for buying me a coffee. I always post up my buy me a coffee link in my video descriptions and I appreciate any support. Okay, let's go. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream. Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget The first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was blown
Пока 